what it kind of comes across. It's more real now. So so let's see what happens because you know uh, we just uh, we haven't had any real bounces. Uh, you know, um, even last week, you know, remember that Monday uh, we reversed from that uh, 4200 or 4150 number and then uh, came back down again 100 point on Tuesday. I think it was last week where we had uh, 100 point moves almost every day in that space. So, you know, um, let's see uh, let's see what happens uh, this week with the CPI number. I know there's going to be a lot of talk about peak inflation. How many times have we talked about that? It's like almost every time there's a CPI number, the pundits come on TV and they're like peak inflation. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. It's the inflation is elevated. Even if it comes in like a touch better, you know, or or, or less worse, it's elevated. You know, I mean, we're paying six dollars plus at the pump. The supply chain has not improved. It's gotten worse. You know, in uh, the conflict uh, in Russia and Ukraine are going to put more pressure on supply chain. The shutdown in uh, China is going to put more pressure on supply chain, more pressure on inflation. And, and you know, and oil is just not backing up. Crude is it's still very high. So, you know, all these all these problems are, are, are slowly coming into foreign the market and, and they're starting to discount. So uh, but there's still pockets left uh, where discounting needs to be done. You know, uh, the darlings like, uh, you know, I talked about cloud being one, you know, those are still very expensive, you know. I know it's a high margin business, it's very attractive, but, you know, um, the valuations are high. The question is, do they want to pay that X amount of valuation in those names? So let's, so, so, so that's kind of what we have, you know, um, this feels more real possible we get a bounce um you know when the cpi number comes and then they go back to work again uh because the market is 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 very depressed right now we've uh, you know we're down for like two weeks almost here right so uh so it's very possible you know but uh uh my my, my only thing is just be careful about the argument of peak inflation i don't think you know, I think as long as it's elevated, it's a problem. You know, so, so let's see. Uh, let's see what happens this Wednesday. Exactly. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, be be open. We can go way up. or We can go way down. Yeah. Uh, Jose uh, is asking, what about CMG? See, look, CMG should be a thousand, maybe eight hundred. Yeah, that's, they're that's the very expensive. Too. Yeah. They're the poster child for inflation. I mean, I, and I, I keep telling you, this doesn't end till people get smarter. Look at Peloton. It's a, think about it. Starbucks. The CEO comes back and he says, inflation is so bad, we can't raise prices, our margins will go lower. He, he spelled it out to you, Omid. Yeah, and you're going to start hearing that more from companies. But, but did you see what happened to the stock? It went up. It went up. Crazy. And that's why this is not close to done. And maybe it goes up for a day or two or three, and then it'll go down again. Because you got clowns buying this stuff. How are you buying something when they tell you it's going to be bad? <laughs> right? I mean, think about it. Think about it. Now, I don't know if this Tesla rumor is true or not, but if they're going to shut the factory, maybe it's shut for a week or two weeks. Maybe it's shut for six months and all the, the things like uh, Ford, things that happened in a Ford and GM. Corvettes, they, Corvettes are, are back ordered. They could build a million Corvettes and they haven't had, they have more orders than that moment. And they can't get parts for two and a half years. Two and a half years. What do you think happens if that happens to Tesla? I have no idea. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying be open-minded. Very possible. Very possible. And if it happens that day that it happens, what if he has to shut two factories? Wow. Wow. Now, it could probably go way down, then it comes back up. 
but we're only interested in what happens immediately, okay? So that's what we know, that's what we know. Okay, uh, good morning, good morning, everybody, 510. Stocks go up, stocks go down. You got a little bit of a pop here. I have the 4,000s on my, on my screen. I may buy some puts here if, if we start back negative right now, just let it go up. We're sitting on some now calls. NOW can go a long way. NOW can run 30 points if the market runs. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay? Watch Amazon. If it goes negative, it will, it will rip the SPX lower. Okay? Tesla a little bit better. Not, not up enough. Tesla was 808 when I woke up. 808. So does it pop and drop? That's what it's been doing the last three, four weeks. It always gives you a pop and then takes you out of it, okay? So then we see, then we see, then we see, okay? Uh, interesting, 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 right? So so then we see. Uh, SPX. SPX is, let me look, give me a second, up 30-something. It was it's starting to get better. Uh, 35, up 36. SPX up 36, okay? That puts it at uh, 40.25. You got 4052, big number. Very possible you can get a 4100, maybe 4200 before the CPI. Well, CPI is tomorrow, so probably not. Maybe 4200. And then, then we see what happens. Then we see what happens. Okay, NVIDIA, just up a little bit, slowly going up what that guy said on TV. And I don't trust a lot of guys that take it for whatever, but he actually made a lot of sense. He said people have double and triple ordered with these companies. So they have orders. So they don't have to say that things are slowing out. The new orders may not be coming in, but they have orders. That means all these semi-companies may all have to guide down, not next quarter, but farther down. And that takes them, that cuts them all in half. That takes NVIDIA to 120. That would still be 500. That'd be 500. Pretty good. LRCX. LRCX, 446, 431, needs 472 to be better. Avago. Put this back on the screen because it's the one that hasn't dropped. 551, 509, 622 on the upside, 622. CrowdStrike up a little bit, 141, 132, uh, 178, that number where it dropped from. Pan W, 450, 431, 492. Uh, Apple. If this breaks 150 or gets close, look out. Look out. Amazon, 2272, way up there. 2152. And pretty sure if it breaks 2100, it tests. Snowman, poster child for complete death. Okay? 141, 130. 177 to be better, way up there. NOW, 451, 452, shop. Actually, if shop pops to 360, 361, I actually like the 330 puts at about two bucks. Don't overpay. The moves are going to be smaller. As the stock goes lower, the moves going to be smaller. Like UPST. UPST is at 34. You can't expect it to drop 20 points anymore, right? So the move's done, okay? UPST, 33.27. Wow, 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 wow. By the numbers, it looks actually okay. I mean, they made 60 cents. They're going to make $2. At 30 PE, that's 60. Yeah, way low. But their they're slowing growth means less growth. And where do people just kill it, okay? Kill it, kill it, kill it. Google, 2,300, 2,332, under 22, 22 earnings day. Tesla, not up enough. I don't know if anybody has clarified if they're shutting down or they have shortages or they're going to build less. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? Don't know. So then we see and then we see and then we see. Okay, uh, big day tomorrow, CPI, big day. We could actually run 150 up if it's great or completely implode to 3,800 if it's bad, okay? 
So that's what we know. That's what we know. Okay. Uh, comments, questions. Tesla pause production in Shanghai in late March. Is video when I, we know that. Uh, also shut for a couple of days in March. Yeah, we know that. Okay. We'll see. That's what we know. Everybody have a great train day. See you in chat.